M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. On the left we've got the FT5D and on the right we've got the nice new Kenwood D75. I just want to show you it sending APRS and then we'll show you the settings. So everything's, you know, they're both APRS enabled. We're just going to press far, uh, 6 and you'll see the beacon come through. The reason it's not shown on the screen is because I've transmitted to it before. So we just go F menu and then list. And then select it and then we can see what you would see normally and then we'll go back the other way so back button just to go back to the main screen and then we're going to text to the 75 so we go F menu and there you are and it's showing the different information and you can scroll through and it says FT5 off duty there there are tracker settings that you can do there you go. Pretty good, eh? So all you do to get the Kenwood sending this, you do need to choose if you're going to be using your GPS or a manual location because without one or the other, yeah, locked. So if your if your GPS signal is not locked, it won't transmit. But if you've told it to use your manual location, it will. So press the menu button. Go go to the GPS enter then enter again and then you've got your basic settings you can see there it says built-in GPS if I press that that's on at the moment back my present my position press that and there's my position and we can select use and that way it's going to use the manual position that you put in if you toggle upwards when you're in the my position, see it's using that at the moment. That's the position that we've typed in, which you can edit. If we go up one, then we can tell it to use our GPS, but we're not getting a locking in this room at the moment. So just go down one and then and then down one then you select use. It looks like you can set more than one position as well. On the my position, you can set lots of positions and refer to them. So we're going to use the first one. Click enter. Then we just go menu. For the APRS settings, go menu across to APRS. Start at the top. And I'll just show you my settings. So my call sign. Need to get that in there. Back. Your icon, which is a little person at the moment. A comment so press it and the cup we've chose from a standard list of comments it looks like you can make a you can do a custom one here I've not done one but you can choose a custom one status text select there and I select I've typed in ham tech it's using that I haven't changed packet path I've left Data speed at 1200, and I believe that when it says TNC 12, that's what that means. Data band, I've told it B, so you've got A or B, so we're using it on the B band. I haven't changed DCD sense, TX delay, APRS loss, so I haven't changed anything else. I'll go back. TX control, I've chosen manual. If you did set auto, you can set an interval, I put 10 minutes there. Speed, I haven't changed any of this, I've just turned it all on, look. Okay, back. And I haven't gone into Smart Beacon and Waypoint and all that kind of stuff. So that's my settings. So you would have to select the B band, of course. So if I show you dual band... I go in F A B. That shows you dual band, and we're on. We've got APRS on the B band, remember, which is the bottom one. So if you go F A B, you want to see one four four eight hundred in the UK, and I think in the USA it's one four four three ninety. You just enter one four four three nine zero. If it was the USA, I'll oh, type that wrong. One four four three nine zero. Why is it not let me do that? Is it my step? We're going to change step. We'll go F step here. Yeah. There you go. Put it to 10. Up one. Enter. 
one enter one four four three nine zero you want to make sure there's no tone you can change a power by going f low you know f low f low to change power but um one four four three ninety no tones if you want to activate and deactivate tones it's the number eight same and you've got the sorry i think now the shift is there if you want to you know change any shift just get rid of them basically and if you really want to add it to, to memory just go f two and then go down select a space enter and you've added it as memory number eight you back out now quick ptt so we can beacon tx now but let's get my frequency and if we want to go bring back that memory channel just press memory look and go to number eight wasn't it there you are that's got it as a memory or vfo is number one Let's add our SSD to our call sign. So a quick way is to just go menu, 500, and then just select until you see the flat line. There it is there, and go along. Let's just put seven for now. Then, you know, different numbers mean that you're doing a different thing. Okay, enter. So we've got that in there. So really, if we back out, we should be able to just be TX. Now, if we have an external antenna connected, we're going to get onto the, the you know, the, a, the APRS system here in the UK. One, four, four, eight, hundred. So let's just go Beacon TX. And you can see there, it's all the information's there. D7, it says, speed, course, in service. Let's go the other way. Again, F then beacon. And that's it. So there's more to APRS, but that's the basics of getting it working. It works very well. And don't forget, you've got packet radio with the D75, so you can do even more than you can with the FT5. FT5 settings, if you hold down F menu, select APRS. Very, very similar settings, but obviously it's a different device. GPS power there, back button, turn up to the top. The most important one I would say is probably turning on your modem, number four. So make sure that's on, just turn to the number and it's on then. And then it's getting in your call sign. If we find that somewhere. 23 just press F menu get your call sign in there and just go we've got right and left arrows here and then just select and enter most of the settings that are in there are just by default there they're fine once you've got your call sign and the modem turned on and select the the B band as well to you know when APRS is on because look you get a little a12 there so yeah just a quick brief one on the d75 and showing you how, how the uh, APRS works. Bye for now, 7-3.